A fracture occurs when there is a break or disruption in the integrity of a bone. Types of fractures include closed or simple, open or compound, transverse spiral, comminuted, impacted, green stick, oblique, stress, complete, incomplete, compression, and pathologic. Common signs and symptoms of untreated fractures include pain, swelling, bruising, deformity, loss of function, and inability to bear weight. Risk factors for fractures include advancing age, trauma, osteoporosis, long-term corticosteroid use, physical inactivity, poor nutrition, and genetics. Postmenopausal women are at higher risk due to decreased bone density. Diagnostic testing to identify a fracture typically includes an X-ray to identify the location and severity of the bone injury, as well as other tests based on the circumstances. X-rays provide a two-dimensional image of the bone, while CT scans offer detailed cross-sectional images. MRI scans are beneficial for soft tissue visualization, and ultrasounds help visualize growth plates in children. Bone scans are used to detect high osteoblastic activity in cases of suspected metastatic bone cancer. Medications commonly prescribed for fractures include analgesics such as opioids or local anesthetics. NSAIDs are avoided due to malunion risk. Antibiotics are prescribed for open fractures. There are several possible medical treatments for fractures. Closed reduction is non-surgical realignment of the bone. Immobilization refers to application of a cast, splint or brace to restrict movement of the affected limb or body part to allow the bones to heal properly. Open reduction and internal fixation, commonly called ORIF, is a surgery that realigns the fractured bones, then hardware like metal pins, plates, rods, or screws is applied to hold the bones in place. After the bone heals, this hardware is not typically removed unless additional symptoms occur. External fixation is a surgical procedure where metal pins or screws are inserted into the bone above and below the fracture site, then connected to an external frame to stabilize the fracture. This method is often used for severe open fracture. Traction may also be used to align and immobilize the fracture, helping reduce muscle spasms. Anticoagulants may be prescribed postoperatively to prevent deep vein thrombosis. Priority nursing interventions include monitoring neurovascular status, managing pain, monitoring for complications, and providing health education. Nurses assess for signs of infection, sensory changes, compromised circulation, and swelling. Interventions to reduce swelling and pain include applying ice and elevating the injured limb. Health teaching topics include cast care, safe use of assistive devices, and the importance of early mobilization. Good nutrition to support bone healing is encouraged, especially adequate intake of calcium, vitamin D, and protein. Potential complications include acute compartment syndrome, hypovolemic shock, fat embolism syndrome, deep vein thrombosis, infection, and non-union or malunion of the bone. Early recognition and prompt intervention for these complications are essential to prevent long-term damage and improve patient outcomes. Overall goals for nursing interventions include reducing pain, improving physical mobility, ensuring proper healing of the fracture, and preventing falls. Evaluating the effectiveness of these interventions involves regularly assessing the patient's pain levels mobility, signs of healing, and stability with assistive devices.